guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking all about the differences between traditional american buttercream and swiss meringue buttercream i will be going over how each type is made which is the easiest to make which tastes better and which one has the best consistency for piping and icing cakes if you are excited about this video please give it a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified when i post a new video every week now let's get started I'm going to start first by making the American buttercream. This one is really easy, beginner's level type of buttercream. All you need to do is cream some butter and lots of powdered sugar together. To get the best results, I prefer to cream the room temperature butter first and once it's light and fluffy, I add the sifted powdered sugar spoonful by spoonful so I don't get powdered sugar flying all around the kitchen. I also add at the end a pinch of salt to balance some of the sweetness some vanilla extract and a splash of cream or milk to thin out the consistency a little bit. Depending on how thick or loose you want the buttercream, you can omit the liquid or add a little bit more. At this point, you can also add any food coloring you like. As you can see, this buttercream has a relatively thick texture, but it is very easy to pipe. It has very sweet flavor and also forms a thin crust when exposed to air which makes it perfect for piping flowers or any decorations in advance, letting it dry completely before adding them to a fresh cake. It is really great for icing cakes for last minute frosting needs because it is so quick to make. Now switching to the Swiss meringue buttercream. This one is a little bit more advanced. First of all, we need to start with the meringue base. For this I am combining some granulated sugar and egg whites, whisking them to combine. Then I'm going to cook this mixture on a bain-marie until the sugar has dissolved and the mixture is glossy. To make sure that it is ready, you can simply rub a little bit of the mixture in between your fingers and if you don't feel any sugar granules, then it has dissolved and is ready for the next step. I then transfer this mixture to my mixing bowl with a whisk attachment and let it whisk away on high speed for a good 5-10 to 10 minutes. It is really important to leave it whisking so the meringue develops and gets nice and stiff peaks and also this will allow the mixture to cool down so the butter does not melt once we start adding it in. Once the meringue reaches stiff peaks, I start adding my butter one small piece at a time. Finally, I add a pinch of salt and some vanilla extract. Now is the time to add your food coloring if you wish to color the buttercream. I keep it whisking for another 5 minutes until the mixture thickens and turns into smooth buttercream. If you feel that your butter melted and the mixture is too runny, you can place the bowl in the fridge for a few minutes and then whisk it again and it should all come together easily. Once it's ready, my final trick for the perfect meringue buttercream is to mix it really well with my spatula and spread it on the side of the bowl to get rid of any air bubbles, which will give me a really smooth finish for cakes and cupcakes. As you can see, this buttercream is very stable. It has a silky smooth texture, it's very light and not overly sweet. It also remains soft when exposed to air, unlike the American buttercream. It is perfect for icing cakes and cupcakes, but you need to be careful of the temperature as it can easily melt in hot and humid weather. Comparing both types of buttercream, my favorite by far is the Swiss meringue buttercream, because of its silky smooth texture and delicious taste, not overly sweet like American buttercream tends to be. I use this buttercream 90% of the time when I am icing cakes and cupcakes and absolutely in love with it. However, when I want to pipe intricate designs to be added on top of my cake, I then use American buttercream because it sets firm when left at room temperature. So there you go, all the pros and cons of each type of buttercream with all the do's and don'ts. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to answer them right away. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. 
and also make sure to check my cake decorating playlist for lots of inspiration on how to decorate your cakes with any buttercream you choose to make. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!